Caitlin Clark made her WNBA debut on Tuesday at Mohegan Sun Arena, scoring 20 points and committing 10 turnovers as the Indiana Fever lost 90 Tomina 71 to the Connecticut Sun in their season opener. Clark's 10 turnovers set a new record for most turnovers in a WNBA debut game. Just as is the case with any rookie, Clark is at the beginning of an adjustment period. The defense displayed a strong respect for the shooting reputation Clark holds from the beginning of her first WNBA regular season game, often face guarding her off the ball, top locking her when involved in actions, and prioritizing not allowing her to have a gap to attack when possible by having the big defender play up when it was reasonable to do so. There was use of hedge and recover ball screen coverage at times, along with some double teams. She clearly emphasized pushing the pace when possible, often making throw-ahead passes or bounce passes if she attacked using her dribble. There was shot-making you typically see from her with tough jumpers, but there continues to be a need to adjust to the difficulty of getting to the rim against WNBA defense. Let's dive into her offensive performance and see what can be learned from her first WNBA regular season game. Clark makes a pocket pass to Aaliyah Boston with the defense playing up in ball screen coverage, creating a one-on-one scoring chance in the middle of the floor. Here, Clark is already being engaged by Carrington after crossing half-court out of respect for the threat of her pull-up jump shooting range. Clark has to deal with defensive pressure all the way to the rim and misses trying to finish off one. The defense is aggressive trying to neutralize a finish at the rim by playing up in ball screen coverage and showing help off the dunker spot. Clark counters with a floater after getting into the gap but misses. Out of wide action, Clark dribbles to space on the wing and has Carrington aggressively tracking her. Clark counters by using a shot fake on the catch to get the defender in the air and has an open look but the shot rims out. Simple throw ahead pass here trying to catch the defense off guard. The spacing on this play was off. Clark draws two on the pick and roll and uses a behind the back pass to hit the roller. But there was already a defender in a position to engage on the catch due to the offense not being spaced out, disrupting Boston and causing a travel. Watch how Clark gets denied and face guarded off the ball even at the start of her career. The connection on throw-ahead passes has to be fine-tuned. Here Clark hits a teammate in the hands, but the catch is fumbled. Clark sets a cross screen and pulls a defender all the way on the flare out. She's already commanded this type of gravity from day one. Clark attacks baseline after turning the corner against a blitz trying to hit the roller deep in the paint, but places the ball in a crowd, resulting in a turnover. With the help defense pre-rotated, the bounce pass wasn't open. Clark uses a middle floor ball screen to come off wide and get to the left side of the floor for a step back jumper. Connecticut had the big playing up in coverage ready to contest. Again, another testament to the respect Clark is already commanding. The Sun tries to show and recover against Clark in ball screen coverage, knowing a recovery will need to occur quickly to avoid her hitting the slip with a pass. While the weak side spacer shakes up to help Clark hit the roller, the strong side is crowded with the short corner filled, making it easy for the defense to jump the pass. Indiana's spacing needs to be better. Clark attacks in transition, draws Dewana Bonner, then uses a hesitation dribble to create an advantage before getting to the rim for a layup. Aggressive ball pressure results in a straight-up strip at half-court. Aggressive defense here with Clark using two off-ball screens before getting crowded on the catch. She uses the defender's aggression as an advantage by attacking left to set up the spin right, but the low defender makes a great rotation and gets vertical to block the finish attempt. Connecticut is pressuring the ball and switching at a high level on this play before ultimately the ball gets pried loose and finds Clark. She takes a really deep pull-up jumper over two defenders with plenty of time still on the shot clock. Tough shot to take here, but then again. Caitlin Clark does Caitlin Clark things sometimes. Like curls around a screen and immediately getting into the shot on the catch and knocking it down. Clark will need to protect the ball better against pressure. The Sun doubled on the ball screen rejection and the big got a hand on the ball before she could hit the roller. Clark draws two defenders on the get action, then loses the ball here with the on-ball defender getting a hand on the pass. Quick trigger three out of wide action here. A split second is all. Clark needs to let it fly. This time, the defense is very aggressive with top locking before the wide action screen in hopes of taking away the catch and shoot jumper. Clark serves as a decoy by leveraging her gravity on the cut through, creating a lot of space for Erica Wheeler to attack going right for a layup. With the Sun using a hedge and recover approach, Clark has the on ball defender loading on her left hip, creating a chance to draw a foul on the recovery. Clark hesitates after drawing two defenders and not making the initial pass. The result is a traveling call after switching her pivot foot. This is a lot of work for the on-ball defender, 
Clark comes up for the handoff and is denied by the defender Inchley, but comes back to the ball. Connecticut tries to hedge and recover, setting up a chance for Clark to counter the on-ball defender with a right-to-left crossover into a pull-up three, but it rims out. This will be a nightmare for the defense when they start dropping. This was a poor decision, driving into a cutting teammate and losing control. Clark finds the big running the floor for a finish in transition. Clark waited for the nearest defender to stop the ball, creating an easy pass to the corner for a jumper. Indiana runs horns to get a handoff for Clark attacking downhill going right, but the big defender is playing up to touch. Clark is aggressive and draws the foul by driving into the big and trying to finish. After the Iverson cut, Clark immediately attacked after catching the ball, resulting in the sun switching. Clark dribbled through to accept the switch, then used a right-to-left crossover for a step back and hit the shot with the defender not pressing up. Late in the clock, Clark draws a switch before using a controlled pace to set up a right-to-left crossover, then uses contact to create space for the step-back three that she hits. Out of get action, Clark gets both defenders to jump due to the feed of her getting into a quick trigger shot. The low defender is rotated to help on the drive, and Clark draws the foul, playing off two. With a double-figure deficit late in the game, Indiana hands it off to Clark, who uses a dribble to create a shot from the perimeter but misses. Despite rejecting the screen, the big was in a position to pressure Clark's finish on the drive while the on-ball defender was pressuring. No foul was called. Simple throw-ahead pass for a catch-and-shoot jumper leading to a high percentage look. This was an example of forcing a pass. In transition, Clark tried to get the ball to a cutter, but the defense denied it. Here on the final play, we'll look at Clark was left open from the wing but didn't make the shot. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel and every like and comment helps. Thanks for your support.